Hello YouTube, this is Arai Tutorials and today I'll be showing you guys how to create writing text intro like this basically the text writes itself so it's pretty simple and uh, first of all if you want it to look exactly like I'm doing uh, download this font that I'm using gloss and bloom it's called gloss and bloom so go to um, dafont.com and download it there or follow the link in the description of this video I'm probably gonna have a link for this uh, font so once you downloaded it it's gonna be in a zipped file it's gonna either look like a yellow little folder zipped or it's gonna be in a winner file open it up <clears throat> okay and just close this window open it up and then you're gonna see this middle file here gloss and blue so take it out of the file and put it on your desktop or whatever other place you want to put it okay now you can close this now you can delete this file here the zipped file and this gloss and bloom you can install it so right click and install and i'm gonna replace it because i already have it but i'm gonna click replace and it's gonna install okay so now, um, open up Sony Vegas and let's get started. Okay, so now we got a empty canvas, as you can say. And so now just go to Media Generators. Let's go down to Legacy Text, down here. For some reason, this one works for me. And select the default text, the first one, drag it in. Let's change it to Drive. And uh, select it, change font to gloss and bloom. Okay, change the font to gloss and bloom. Okay, so now close this window. If you need to edit the text again, just click on this little button right here. And again, you'll have this window and you can edit it, delete it, whatever. Okay. So now uh, go to this little event pen crop button here, click on it, okay, and then uh, click on mask, so enable mask right here, and then using this cursor right here, just zoom in, and then uh, zoom in using your mouse wheel, okay, and then uh, Go go to the first letter D. <clears throat> so select the anchor tool. Create an anchor. Create an anchor. Down below here, create an anchor. Down here, create an anchor, and finish it off by closing, clicking on the first anchor. Boom! You have closed the mask. Right. So now. Uh, now we gotta animate it so zoom in on the timeline here by using your mouse wheel zoom in okay once you have these separate individual frames it'll be uh, like this one frame two frame it'll jump from one frame to another okay so this is your first frame first frame is you only see this much of the text second frame Actually, let's go two frames up. Okay, that's... Uh, I think that's the best. Actually, let's go three frames up. I think that's the best speed. So three frames up. Select your anchor tool. And click in the middle right here. Where you want to expand. Okay, click. Create an anchor. Then uh, take your um, cursor tool and drag the anchor out like this and then uh, again anchor tool create another anchor then again cursor tool drag it out and watch what happens when I play it back see when I play the frames it gradually uh, reveals the text okay so now again let's go three frames up from this frame, uh, this uh, um, 
don't know what this point right here. One, two, three, three frames. <clears throat> you can select, select your anchor tool. Click in the middle. Boom, select your cursor tool and keep going just like that. And then again, anchor tool, select in the middle. Cursor tool, boom. And then just reveal to the bottom where we have this little bottom here. That's where I'm going to go. Okay. Uh, just going to kind of move it around. All right. Okay, so now that you have this, uh, so now so I have this animation here. Boom. And then uh, let's go up a little bit. Uh, three more frames. Let's go up three frames. And then uh, once you're up three th frames, uh, select anchor creation tool. Um, and create another anchor. Again, cursor tool. And drag it out a little bit right here. Reveal some more text and anchor tool again. Click in the middle here. Cursor tool, drag it out so that you can see a little bit more of the text. And then uh, anchor tool again, cursor tool, keep dragging it, boom. Okay, okay, so now we have revealed this much of the text. Okay, and then um, go another three frames up this point one two three <clears throat> okay and uh, we'll not create another new anchor we're just gonna use our cursor tool and just drag this right here boom drag it up reveal the rest of the text actually let's drag this point to two frames because it's it doesn't reveal that much of the text but it's it's gonna take a little too long. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag it back to two frames instead of three frames. Okay, so now let's go up three frames again. And you have to customize this. You have to basically look and see how you are doing. Okay, uh, so mine might be di different from yours. Okay, so now let's go up three frames. One, two, three. Okay, and anchor tool, select in the middle, cursor tool, drag it out, and, and we can even use the cursor tool here to drag out this, okay, boom, reveal this much of the text, okay, okay, so now three frames more, one, two, three, <coughs> okay, and then Again, anchor tool, boom, drag, uh, and then cursor tool, drag, okay, just keep kind of dragging them up, um, and anchor tool again, we'll use the cursor tool and drag. Okay, and now we've revealed again this much of the text. Now let's go three frames up. One, two, three. Anchor tool. Cursor tool. Zoom out a little bit. Whoops, whoops. Don't drag the line, drag the points. Whoops. We have two points selected. Let's deselect them. Click on this one point right here. And drag it. Boom drag it out like this and drag this point boom, like this okay and now let's go up two frames and then create another anchor point use the cursor tool to drag it out and um, I'll create another anchor point 
cursor to draw, drag it out. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so now we got, so we got this now. If, uh, if I play it back in here, that's what, what it's gonna look like. Boom, like that. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> and if you wanted to if you wanted to go slower or faster, you can take these points here and separate them longer. So separate these points up further from one another. Like four frames from one another instead of three frames. And that that way is gonna take longer. Or if you wanted to uh, the animation to go faster, you bring them closer, like two frames, okay? But I'm just gonna keep it at three frames for most of them, except for a couple. And then uh, I'm probably gonna speed up the video right now and do the rest of the letters because it's just gonna take too long for me to show you guys every single letter. So just watch as I do the rest of the letters. Actually, let me just not slow the let me just slow it down here and say so select your anchor tool for the new letter you use uh, the anchor tool to create a new anchor one two three four five or you could use this masking point and expand it but I'm just gonna create a new one Okay, and then uh, add another anchor point. And go three frames up. One, two, three. And drag it out. So for the final letter, I am I am gonna use the letter V and expand on it. So I'm gonna create a, a point right here, an anchor point. Drag it out. Uh, actually two anchor points. Boom, like that. Boom. Actually we gotta have four anchor points right here. Make sure there's four anchor points. Because we're gonna take the middle two, drag them out like so. over here and go three frames up Now this is a tricky part. If we keep going, so let's go to one, two, three, three frames up. If we keep going, we're gonna end up with a mess. We can't keep on dragging these because it's it's getting they're getting too close for comfort. We could pull it off, but I'm not gonna try to. I'm just gonna drag this one point up and this point here. And then what I'm gonna do is make sure I'm at this point right here at the final little marker and take the anchor deletion tool right here and delete this anchor delete this anchor and we could leave this anchor but if you want to delete it we can delete it too so it ends up deleting the rest of the anchors that we don't need because it's just gonna be messy if we have those anchors so it's gonna Make them smaller, delete them, and it's gonna look good, I think. <clears throat> and while it's deleting them, while it's deleting those anchors, stay, stay still at this point right here in the timeline. Don't go up yet. 
create a new anchor. Actually, no, let's not let's not create a new anchor. Let's drag out the oops, something's wrong. Okay. Select this anchor right here, drag it out slightly. Like that. And then go up three frames. Okay. And create another anchor. Okay guys, so hopefully you understood what I was doing there, that was kind of messy, but in the end we get this, and you can replay the video if uh, you are confused at any point, or ask any questions in the comments, and I'll probably answer them, okay? Uh, so now we can play this from the beginning, and we get this, these letters, okay?